Hello everyone. Today I'll be introducing the SG2060T by Bali. This camera is a digital scouting and infrared surveillance camera that is equipped with a highly sensitive passive infrared motion sensor. This can be triggered by any human or animal movement within a range of up to 100 feet. Upon being triggered, the camera automatically captures high quality pictures with up to 48 megapixels or records video clips with 1080p resolution. The SG2060T has also three different LED types, white LED, black and white flash, xenon flash. With these three different types, this camera is able to capture an optimal image in any lighting condition. Here are some examples of photos that the different LED types are able to capture. What's inside? When purchasing the camera, it will include the camera itself, which is the SG2060T, the user manual, mounting bracket, mounting belt, and USB cable. Now for a closer look at the SG2060T. On the top left corner, we have a picture of the inside of the camera. On the top, we have the, the 2.3 inch LCD display. Underneath, we have the operation panel, which allows you to change the settings and operate the camera. And underneath, we have the on, the setup, and the off button. To the right, we have the battery bays, which allows you to insert the eight AA batteries that are required to operate the camera. Underneath, we have a picture of the bottom of the camera. On the left side, we have the DC in, the TV out, the USB port, and the SD card slot. And on the right, underneath the battery bay, we have the bottom screw and the DC hole and stopper. On the top right corner, we have a picture of what the LCD display will show when the camera is on. And on the top left corner, we have the camera modes. To the right of that, we have the image size. And on the bottom left corner of the screen, we have the battery level. And to the right of that, we have the SD card. And to the right of that, we have the number of images and the available space that's on the camera. This will change based on the size of your SD card. Getting started. When first starting up the camera, please get an SD card with up to 64 gigabytes of storage that is class 10 or better, and also eight AA batteries. These will be required to start the camera and operate it. Camera mode allows you to change from taking only pictures, only video, or both picture and video. Photo size allows you to change the resolution of the photos captured. Video size allows you to change the resolution of the videos captured. Photo burst allows you to change the number of photos taken after the camera is triggered. Video length allows you to change the duration of the video that's being recorded. Set clock allows you to change the camera date and time. <laughs> Press OK to enter and use the left and right arrows to select the option that you want to change and use the up and down to change it. Press OK when you want to save. Timestamp allows you to toggle whether the date and time will be stamped on videos. Time lapse allows the camera to capture images and videos at a preset time interval, regardless of motion detection. PIR trigger changes the sensitivity of the passive infrared motion sensor. PIR interval allows you to indicate how long the PIR sensor will be disabled after each camera trigger. Picture type allows you to choose the type of flash that will be used during night photography. 
Workday allows you to choose which days of the week you want the camera to be active. Work hour allows you to set a period of time per day that the camera will be active. Language allows you to change the language that you prefer to use the device in. Beep sound allows you to toggle the beep sound when navigating through settings. Camera name allows you to assign a name to the camera. Recycle storage allows the camera to overwrite the oldest images or videos when the camera runs out of storage. Format SD allows you to delete all information on the SD card. Be sure to back up information on the SD card before doing so. Default set allows you to return the camera to its default settings. Version allows you to check the current firmware version of the camera. Finally, thank you for watching. Please contact Wally Media for any questions and please provide the model number and serial number when inquiring.